can't do this. <laughs> like, I have too many. Uh, honest to God, like, no more, no more tears for tonight. I, I can't watch anything else that makes me sad or, or like, just fills me with, with incredible sadness of some sort or... Hey everyone, Aaron here. Welcome back to another animation review. Today we're looking at, obviously, the conclusion of Samurai Jack, um, episode 10, season 5. You know, it's incredible that everything that has climaxed with the series, it, it, it hit me because... I grew up with Samurai Jack, and you know, like I used to, I, I used to always watch with my dad, obviously, and stuff. Like that. I'm sorry for crying, but it, it it wrapped up so nicely because you actually see like the whole conclusion of how the story goes, and it was so fitting because it's like here's how the series ends, you know, and, and it, it feels like part of me ended with that because it's it's a big moment for me, and you know, I have to say that. And I apologize, like, honestly, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but I am, I am legit crying, um, you know, it's, <laughs> it's when it, when stuff like this happens, you know, when a show ends like this, it, it has such a good fitting, because the whole thing of the story has been, you know, seeing Jack go from this, this man who, you know, was, was tasked with a very big task, he was to defeat this ancient evil, and he failed at that because he was sent into the future by the same evil, obviously Aku. And we've seen him struggle and make friendship and make, you know, save people's lives and make these these people, you know, fall in love with the character. And it, it's why it's so fitting that the very ending sequence has all the characters we've come to see from the show, essentially all the major ones, you know, fighting with, with Samurai Jack, you know, hand in hand, essentially. And they were dying left and right. You know, that's the thing that was really sad about it. They were losing for the most part, but they still fought because, you know, Jack always struggled and always gave up part of him to keep fighting for these people. And he saved them and they wanted to save him. And the whole conclusion, obviously, if you have... I'm spoiling this, by the way, so warning right now, spoilers. But, you know, Ashi, not being part of Aku, obviously, when Aku died, it was almost inevitable that she was going to disappear. And I know some people might have issues with it. They might think like, oh, that's like Gurren Lagann's ending type thing. Or some, you know, they might have issues with just the ending in general being like that. But to me, it made sense because in many ways, that's how this had to go. Is, you know, Ashi was something that in terminology shouldn't exist. If you think about it, like if, if Jack would have dealt that final blow, she wouldn't even be real. And the thing is, is that at least he got to see that. And, and at least they got their happiness for a little while at least. Um... You know, I, I wish, I, like, I would be like anyone else, and I know a lot of people are going to be like this, where I, they wish they would get them together, and I wish the same thing, but, you know, it, it's unfortunately how it had to be, and it, it fit really well for the show. At least at the ending, which I really thought was kind of cool, is that even though Jack was at his most depressed moment, because obviously losing Ashi, you know, they were just about to get married, and she disappeared. You know, he went off into, into a dark area, but the thing is, is that, he saw the ladybug and the ladybug landed on his, on his finger and he realized life goes on and life is still there. And, you know, in many ways, he, he might have lost something, but he gained so much more and he saved so many people. And if, even if they don't exist, you know, the future is now brighter. And that's what I think that really cool about the ending of how the, the light got, you know, so much more uh, everescent. It became so beautiful and the area that he was in was really dark, but it shone so brightly. You know... <laughs> This was such a great show. Honestly, if I had to rate this show between an A through F, A+. Plus, it's, you know, I know it's not anime. I obviously know that. But for me, it's something that it was. It, it had the heart and body of an anime. And uh, Gene Chiaroski, I, I might be pronouncing his last name wrong. And I do apologize for that. But um, he has brought, I think, so much joy. That's why fans all over the world wanted him to conclude this series. Because he made something that was just incredible. And, you know... It's something that it definitely, you know, it, it was something I grew up with. And I'm crying again, obviously, but, you know, it, it, it's the end of a generation in many ways. And I'm very happy about it because, you know, like everything else, life continues on, obviously. And we have to move on. And it was such a fitting end for the show, though. And I feel so happy about that. I really am happy about that.
Anyways, guys and girls, I'm not going to cry anymore, hopefully. I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you enjoyed the review. As always, if you did, you know what to do. Have a great, blessed night. God bless you all. Really, seriously, bye-bye, everyone.